Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time. And we show you the junk that we have thrifted and we tell you what we're gonna do with it and we make it over step by with some weird things and we talk about them. Um, if you wanna shop along, visit jamierayvintage.com, click Saturday Thrift Haul. Everything is listed there. That is the only way to shop. Um, and if you have any questions, let us know. Caitlin is on here dropping links, answering questions. Um, and we're excited. This week is a super mega thrift haul because <laughs> we thrifted and thrifted, but then we realized that we didn't have enough like smaller type items. Oh, I found it. Oh, we'll have to save that for next week. Because I couldn't <laughs> find this, so I deleted it. We realized we didn't have enough smaller type items. So then we went to a thrift store this morning and it was like so good. So we just like got tonnage in and we've actually done like the shops been really busy. Yeah. We have so a we lot need to, to like <laughs> fill it up. So we're super excited to show you what we have. Uh, if you guys are resellers, we tell you what we paid for it and what we're going to sell it for. So hopefully that's helpful to you. All right, let's go. Okay, candlestick a palooza. We got a lot of those tonight. Um, this one was two dollars. Let me repeat that: two dollars. Look how big it is. This um, was on the cart. I had to snag it. Somebody spray painted it. It does it need some some little surgerization. Surgerization. Made it up right now. So originally from Hobby Lobby, it was $39.99. And I like to think that once I paint stuff, it's cooler than Hobby Lobby. So well, we're, we're only gonna, selling it for $34.95 after you paint it. After we Jamie and Zeb Ray it. Because so. this paint job, let's be honest, it's like chippy and flaky and cheetah y. It's not great. If you ever want to know what our like painted thrift stuff looks like, um, a lot of times I'll do little videos. Uh, like shorts if I, we don't do an edited video and you can find those in our shorts collection and it just shows you kind of what it looks like because I think sometimes when it's all like this it looks like a hot mess but I promise you by the time it gets into our shop it makes so much more sense because all the weird stuff gets painted. All right thrifted this uh, this is awesome this angel it's like ceramic or resin I can't tell maybe a combo of both I've seen that where the resin has fibers and like rocks and stuff in it this was four dollars we're selling it for 39.95 it does have some damage up here that's been repaired already but you can see a couple little chips and things on the wing and we will paint it and those will go away it'll be good as new i'll make sure that this repair is nice and sturdy and not going to break again but i think yeah no no flex there whoever glued it together did a good job so, so i was thinking we might just try to repaint these white and then just wet distress back the silver and then clear wax it. And then leave the I rest of her. I don't dislike the way she looks. Yeah, no, she's got a good kind of like neutral to her. It could be used in a myriad of decors. Even if you have like wild boho, you could still put her in there and oh, she yeah. probably works. So cute. I would like it like with a big silver heart behind her. However, if we go to paint the wings and it looks weird, then she might all get painted. You just never know. Sometimes when you're working on projects like that, you like have an idea in mind, but it switches making things work all right stabby finial home decor weapon grade keep this uh on your nightstand <laughs> just in case this part is a little bit harder to paint but we can either do like a primer or some salt wash but we will make it all look a little bit more cohesive and less like 1995. I think this was a dollar wasn't it two dollar fifty dollar fifty dollar fifty on this the price tag's gone but uh, we're, after we paint it up, we're going to be selling it for twenty six ninety five. dollars um, This is another one of those examples, originally $34.99 from Hobby Lobby. Yeah. And, and you may think, oh, they're just repainting Hobby Lobby stuff. It's going to look like you, you're never even going to know. Well, isn't Hobby Lobby a craft store? Yeah. They so we're buying craft supplies and making is, them better. This is craft <laughs> supplies for us. We are never going to get sponsored by Hobby Lobby because we talk so much crap about the finishes. They're not bad. They're just like boring. Listen, it's not them that's doing it. They're paying someone to do these finishes. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Some factory in somewhere in Asia is doing a majority of their work. And we take it and we give it the good old USA try. You either like <laughs> it or you don't. You know, whatever. All right. Let's see. Where is this from? Oh, this is not from Hobby Lobby. Compare at eighty dollars. That is already sold. So I put in there that it's copper with patina. I don't know if it's actual copper or painted copper. Um, I couldn't really tell. It's good enough that I don't know. Maybe painted, but either way, it's got the good patina look. And I'm gonna guess painted because I see some wear and tear back here. They must have done like a superb job. Yeah. 
because I had a really hard time. So Either way, it's got the look. Sure. But it was five dollars, and we're selling it for. Um, it's big too. It's like I didn't get this one feet. priced. Was it? Uh, it wasn't in my uh, um, list of things up. going down the list. Sold for forty nine ninety five. Forty nine ninety five. All right. So it's still better than eighty. We got to go a little fast here for a little bit so we can get to painting something at the end. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna whip them through here. Caitlin's on. She's speedy with the fingers and the links. So. She's dropping them fast. She's got speed fingers. Um, if you do see something you like, don't wait because um, the cart doesn't hold it for you. You got to check out because there's a lot of people. Yeah, right now, there are 74 people browsing jamierayvintage.com. On average, we have between 5 to 20 people. Yeah, so 74 people at one time is a good amount of people looking at stuff. This is a today find. I'm to the point now where like it's almost like when you see um, Pampered Chef stoneware, you, you grab that. Same with wall pockets. Press tin wall pockets, just get them. You're going to repaint them. They're going to look amazing. They go with all kinds of decor. They're super handy for actually putting flowers or mail or whatever. You can do all kinds of stuff with them. This one was $2. We are selling it for $26.95 after painting it. And I believe that has already sold. I'm excited. Those always look really good with a wet distress, maybe some dry brush. Um, so next up we have this. I'm actually not planning on painting it because I don't hate the look. Like I think it's a fun look. So I paid $2 for this. It's a hand carved frame that somebody else painted and we're selling it for $14.95. It looks like it was probably pretty old because yeah. the, the, the paint on there looks like it might have bleed through. If you look at the back here, the mirror might not be old but the frame itself looks like it could be pretty old. The nails it's are rusty. Pretty cute, or it came from Hawaii. Everything oh, that's, rusty that's in Hawaii. That's true, that's true. So sometimes when we go thrifting, we like to buy craft supplies, and I found this Stampin' Up! stamp. It's huge. It's probably, what, like three and a half inches at least? Wait, what? What? Three and a half about inches? four inches? That's like five inches, almost six, probably about five by seven. I'll measure. It looks like it needs glued back together, though. No, oh. that's the way they come. Oh, it's not been matted yet. It's not been assembled. So it's a Stampin' Up! stamp. It's got a bird on it, and it's called the, yeah, I'll I don't show know. show you. Show, show them across. What's the name Definitely of that one? Definitely Decorative Avian Toile. Avian Toile. Oh, six by five. It's in the title. I may or may not have looked it up on eBay. <laughs> and it's ten ninety five. Okay. Yeah. All right. I was close. Three and a half five inches whatever so zeb got this is the very last thing that zeb picked up when we were thrifting today in fact i have a video i took while we were thrifting today i'll probably just throw, schedule it to go up tomorrow or monday um it's already ready to go but we paid five dollars for this and we're going to paint it and sell for 24.95 it's not just ornate here and here it's also got this really cool detail so definitely um needs to be two-toned that's my favorite thing to do with these if you see me walking over i have decided I'm tired. Like sometimes things get left here at the house and the gals at the shop are like, Hey, we need to ship this. Where's this at? And I'm like, I don't know. I think it got separated so out when we had the your bucket system. Cause we have like a two paint pile and a not to paint pile. And I'm just like, if it's going to be painted, I'm putting it in the bucket now tonight instead of waiting till it gets to the garage. <laughs> All right. Good job. That's to be painted. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we actually have a lot more um, stuff in there. <laughs> pewter twisted candlestick. We always pick up pewter. It's a really good sell for us. Um, this was two dollars, and we're selling it for sixteen ninety five. And I love the little twisty details on it. It just makes it super. I think cute. we got a couple pieces of pewter. We do. All right, tell them about Emily's recipe box. Emily's recipe box. Emily, we're gonna paint your box. She didn't want it because it was at the thrift store. Yeah, this is a big recipe box. Um, I believe we're selling it once it's painted. We're gonna sell it for sixteen ninety five, but. You know, Emily wrote her name on here, recipes, little puffy paint. We're going to sand that darling. off and turn it into a really great box. It might get, I think, honestly, I think this is just going to get a simple finish, but it'll look awesome. We're going to use one of the new um, mini pack on the... Uh, Stencils? Uh, yeah, but not they're not grain sacks. They're like... No, all, they're the French fruit labels. The fruit labels. That's the words I was looking for. Fruit labels on here. I think it's it'll not be cool. often that you lose the words and I find them. My my iron must be kicking in. Like I'm getting more oxygen to my brain. I don't know. Well, they downed my dose and I feel a little foggy now. I was running high on Is too that much. Really thin? I was running real high on too much thyroid and I've been sleeping way more than I normally do, like eight, nine hours a night versus my normal six. 
But before you took any medicine at all, you only slept six. I know. I know. It's healthy. Maybe your body needs it. All right, let's show them this. <laughs> I don't get enough done if I sleep eight or nine hours. <laughs> okay, magazine tote. That's what I'm calling it because I have no clue what you Or if you have 43 chickens. Or if you have 43 chickens, you need to collect eggs. Chicken basket. We're leaving it to Chippy Red. It's got a good, it's starting to fade a little bit here and there. It's been outside, probably had plants in it. Um, actually, that would be cool hanging out. You could like yeah, hang put it. Some coconut core. You could hang it right here, put some coconut core in there and plant in it. Yeah, that'd be way cute. That's cuter than my magazine idea. 1995, I think. Uh, no, nope. 20 something. 20. Can you read that? You didn't put a 95, so I'm guessing. 2095. I was like within a dollar of myself and I paid two dollars for that. So, um, somebody says, you guys, what? Before we move on, I must, while she's looking at comments, I must tell you this. I was told that I can't do a whole lot of story time tonight because we have a lot of stuff. Hold I on, know. I don't want to, I don't want to Claudette to miss this. She wants the stamp. Tell her where she can buy it. You can buy it at jamierayvintage.com. If it's not already gone, you can get it now. Go, go. Saturday Thrift Hall. Or if you scroll back, Caitlin did drop a link. But if you just go to jamierayvintage.com, J-A-M-I, no E, click that, go to the Saturday Thrift Hall search new to old if it's still available it'll be in the top 50 items yeah back to my long story about not telling long stories i got the music books that we picked up in england priced and up on the website they are so just a little story about them really fast and then we'll move on they're it's really cool. cool lots of ephemera in here if you don't want the music books, if you don't even care about music at all, but you do like paper or crafting, some of these have tons of pages. Some do not. I kind of based it off of like grouping. So there's three categories in there. Um, some of them, one category is the music book one where there's a ton of sheets, more sheets. And these aren't necessarily the oldest books. And then these ones here are the vintage ones. Some of these are actually older, but they're all like the vintage size because it kind of the older they get, sometimes they're bigger. Um, but some of these are like this here where they're from the seventies and they just got a bunch of music in there, um, to use for ephemera or whatever. And then, and these are all from England. We picked them up in Tenterden out of a little, uh, antique shop, just a hole in the wall. It wasn't Tenterden, it was No, it was, Tenter no. Uh, it was Tenterden. No. It was on that little walk as we went around. Cranbrook. Well, I'll have to change the description because I said Tenterden. Tenterden These is ones... the place with five thrift stores. Cranbrook has one thrift store, one antique shop, and then it had the co-op shop that closed. So this is, these these ones here are my favorites. Um, and you can see why. The music in them is still legible. Some of them you can see on the sides here, pretty worn, used, like this one here. Um, but even the backs of these, I did take some pics. We will be using some of these in some of our designs for, um, paper, but just really great. And they're in there while supplies last. The thing about these, we're picking them at random. So when you order them, there's so many, I couldn't take like 6,800 pictures of these and list them. So you'll get the, you'll get this size or that size or one of the four books. Cause I did separate those out when you order so just be aware that we're just going to grab one and send it to you if you get two we'll grab two so um caroline says did i make it for live yes we're live and the pink peony says i live very near cranbrook have you been to i think is it the heart the british heart foundation is I, that who yeah, has the so. cranbrook uh, charity shop because that one is good like we've only been there twice because we've only been to england twice but we went there um we don't get out of that store with less than 10 items and they're always good. But then if you go, you know, like in Cranbrook, there's like the little kitchen shop. And then on the left-hand side, there's the bakery. And before you get to the cathedral on the corner, there's a little teeny tiny skinny antique store. And that's where all of those came from. And there's this guy that loves artwork. And so that's what he values the most. And so he has a lot of artwork that's kind of spendy, but he had that whole bag was... of ephemera and that bundle deal did all. So that's where it came from. All right. Now that we're through that, because I know people have been waiting since like October for me to get those listed and I finally just did it. Um, 
so happy shopping go get oh. your music books oh i'm sorry caitlin can you drop the link for that that one is in our france and england collection it and is. if you search new to old it's going to be the newest listing because he just got it in there all right okay and it is active and live all right so i'm not sure what this is just a planting bucket what would this be for with this hook on here is this um, just for looks this is to hang on the wall oh i see So you put a screw on the wall and then it slides up and then it'll put it's it got a little like eye hook on there and it's big and so i'm gonna paint it all up okay and it'll either get like a stencil so it's a flower or transfer. bucket it's a flower bucket it's a big one i did not see the eye hook in this little and handle. i think it'll make it hang at an angle right like yeah. you put it in there and then it'll be like <laughs> Right after I throw it and break all the like valuables. Four of those items have already sold. Shh. <laughs> Just look away. I was trying to show you, yes, oh. it will hang at an angle. <laughs> We're not painting it. We're leaving it red, right? Oh, no, Caitlin, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure you dropped the link to the music. Not and it looks this. like somebody has already been shopping the music because um, if you were down a few items and that stamp did sell so somebody must have found the stamp a disclaimer it. about the music i wrote it in there in the description but not everybody reads descriptions some of these are like american plays and american music that was printed in like new york and stuff but we bought it all in england it had been imported over and it's been there for lots and lots of years stuff goes back and forth yeah. all right show them the giant artichoke situation Giant artichoke situation. It was $3. <laughs> it's kind of a little shiny, a little more taupey and dusty and brown than we like. So we will give this a new paint job. French country, most likely. Something in the blue-green family or white with dark wax. Um, and it will be $26.95 when we're all done doing I that. I love that you said brown and dusty. It's not dusty brown. It has brown and it also has it dust. It has dust. <laughs> we like to refer to it as like kitchen fur. I guess like greasy and dusty. If you ever get items from the thrift store, here's a little pro tip. We'll show this next because this is going to get a big um, dose of this. Oh, we that's use like, warm water tell. and Dawn. It's and, almost like a glue on there when you and touch you it. And you scrub it off. And if that doesn't work, you can also use lemon oil. We actually sell lemon oil um, on the website and in our shop. To get the grease off but my first line of defense is always warm water and dawn dish soap and sometimes i'll even kind of just let it sit on there and then come back and scrub it i've been known to use a magic eraser as long as it's something that can hold up to it but yeah that's how you get the uh, kitchen fur because what happens is it's in someone's kitchen and there's grease everybody's kitchen has it unless you're a raw vegan and then <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, if you don't cook your food in grease, you don't have any. And then dust settles, and it just it's really hard to get off. So um, I actually am obsessed with this soup tureen. I love this style. Um, it it's was a good round $2, style. which is like... A lot of them are ovally. Yeah, which is like the world's... I don't know where the price is on this, but it was $2. And I love to use them without the lid and plant in them. Like you didn't mark it. You didn't I know. Mark I missed that one. Let's see what happens. Okay. Um, Caitlin's not to this item. So... When she gets to this item, oh, there it is, $29.95. And I even put in the listing, we'll get a good scrub, because I didn't have time to scrub it before I photographed it. We'll get a good scrub. It's so cute with forced bulbs. So if you like to plant bulbs, just get rid of the lid, put some dirt in there, force some bulbs. If nobody buys it, I actually have bulbs waiting in the wings, and I will do it myself. <laughs> All right, this twisty candlestick is going to get painted. Um, it doesn't have a price. We usually don't pay more than like two bucks for something this size, two to three at the most um 18.95 and gonna get a paint job it might even get painted to match these ones here are a set they this one was a dollar this one was a dollar they're gonna get painted 28.95 just know this one's getting sanded this one's got a little bit of warpage on yeah it. we're gonna take a sander and try to get it more I'll, flat. I'll, we'll flatten the top um but the bottom i won't be able to flatten it still curves down but which is might be why it ended up at the thrift store but i still see value and i actually appreciate like the little imperfections like that especially in wood well i love it because that's what we do like we take misfit things and we make them usable it's got a crack and beautiful. here yeah for 18.95 or 28.95 they're gonna get painted and have love this one's 18.95 yes i like the twi <laughs> the twisty candlesticks always sell really well for us okay um Stacy says, I planted paper whites in a soup tureen. Yeah, I actually have less, not to my phone because we don't give out personal numbers, but you could send pictures to the shop phone. If Caitlin wants to drop the link to the shop phone, you can send pictures there or um, to Caitlin has a work phone and she posted that. So you can text to that number as well. Um, do, 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 do. 
little bunny little here. All right. Oh, we, Julia loves this bunny. We almost my so my brother Has and sister have seven children. My brother and sister in law have seven children. And Jamie's like, if this had one more bunny, I would send this to them because, you know, the rabbit joke. Um, <laughs> this has six, six on it and they needed one more little bunny. So we're selling it. <laughs> um, we paid, I think, $2. It actually has a stand and yes. I'll ship it with a stand. It does have a stand and it can be raised up if you want her to stand up or sit down. She's got all her little bunnies, like a couple more little imperfect, but I think she's super cute. And she's going to be $22.95 with the stand. And then she can sit. Bunny mama with six babies. All right. Next, we're going to talk about this cute little, um, I don't know, what, what do you call this? Canister. It's got a fleur-de-lis on it. It's got a cute little blue lid. It's got the plastic ring if you want it to be a little bit more snug. And we're selling it for $18.95. And I think it already sold. Yeah. It does have a little chip in it here. On the top but it's still strong it's not like cracked through no it's like not a uh what's it called and it's not a from me just flaw. just hitting it I didn't are you do, sure I, yeah i didn't do that i saw it earlier <laughs> it's super cute i love the detail actually my favorite part is the scallops along the edge this is a i was kind of hoping it wouldn't sell because i could put my little chocolates on it and put it next to my bed so if you haven't done a lot of canning pureeing of fruits fruit leather in the dehydrator you probably haven't ever used one of these they're kind of going out of style. Most people just put stuff that they need pureed in a food processor, but this is a muddler and it would have gone in like a sieve thing that's kind of cone shaped and you twist it around and force the fruit all mushy through the little holes. And I had that job a lot as a kid and I don't envy anyone that has to actually use this. It's we a, actually have one of those sieves. Yeah, basement. it's in the basement. It's a sticky hot mess, but we haven't used it ever because we have a food processor. So but I love the way they look. They're actually really cool just like for decor. It's also good for I you like muddling like herbs and spices and teas. Oh, yeah. Things for drinks if like mojitos. A little, a little uh, we don't drink, but I have seen them on television. Mortis and pestle action. Um, but we're selling it for 11 as is, not doing a thing to it. It's oak. It's awesome. Love it a lot. All right. So next up, we have these dishes. There is one that has a chip in it. It's a bowl. Tiny little so baby So I priced chip. it separately. It's right in the silver. They are hand-decorated from Danube Alliance, Ohio, Cunningham and Pickett. I think they're really, really pretty. They're actually some of the prettier dishes that I found. The plates are $9.95. The bowls are uh, this is the bowl with the six ninety five, and then the bowl with a chip is four ninety five. That's right. And there. the little like salad dessert plates are five ninety five. And I paid seventy five cents, a dollar, and then a dollar fifty for the plates. They're like almost a duck egg blue. They're they're pretty. They're great. so pretty. Like if these don't sell, they're gonna look really good in the shop. You won't um, be sad. That looks weapon grade. Yeah, for sure. The mother is good for mixed greens, Sherry says. So Zeb's mind automatically goes to his sweet mother making jam through a sieve, but also people and still employing use them. her children to help her. <laughs> and, but people still use them for that. I don't. I did not price this one. So Caitlin, if you find the link for that one, let me know. I'm gonna move that over here. Okay. Um, um, so this is gonna get a paint job, get some fun decor. We let, we've been doing transfers, we've been doing decoupage, we've been doing stencils on these. This one actually is going to be special because I saw one that I really liked and so I priced it that way. I want to do some molds and then either do like decoupage or a transfer in the middle and then I'm going to do like a two-tone layer finish. It's going to be kind of an involved situation. It's so going to be $28.95 when we're done with the involved. I'm charging probably less than I should for the hours. <laughs> Can the you entire do reason I grabbed this, it was $2 and on the small side, but the entire reason I grabbed this little flower bucket is because of the brass, brass handles. handles. So I'll probably wet distress the brass handles back, but sometimes I see projects and I'm like, oh, I want to do that. And so I'll look for things while we're thrifting to try to like recreate that. So in my mind, it's going to be amazing. So I'm seeing right here, Tuesday, we've got a paint of Palooza happening. Like it's, it's yes. almost there right now. <laughs> All right. Next. And we keep saying every week, we've got to buy less stuff and every week. In fact, well, here's the thing. I've got a theory behind it. Um, more and more things actually need updating rather than just finding actual good old stuff. Cause there's a lot of people out there thrifting. Now thrifting has become very popular. A lot of YouTubers do it. 
Um, everybody's out there looking for the antiques with their black light. And the, we saw a guy today, he went through like every single piece of glass, probably works at a tech job from the looks of him. Uh, he might be watching. I love that he was going through all the glass. Deb says that because he was wearing skinny joggers, a clean t-shirt and nice brand new tennis shoes. And so everybody who dresses like that, he's like, he must have a tech job. He didn't look like us. Like we're all in paint, we're always in paint clothes and dust and just came straight from milking the cow. <laughs> but anyway, he was looking for, um, now I can't even remember the word, uranium glass. And, you know, I, I saw him and we talked for a minute and he looked up the channel. He's like, oh, I followed you. So he might be watching. I don't know. It was fun. I enjoyed talking with him. Um, what we're saying is there's just a lot of people in the business. So you have to be willing to go the extra mile yes. to get enough stuff to make a living. And so that's why we do makeover. Plus, it, it is fun. It's just sometimes my house is a hot mess. Like this week, my house was literally blown up for a solid three and a half days. Yeah. But we got it all done. In fact, we have a piece we're going to show you at the end that was popular last week that we finished. And we're going to, that's like the last painted piece to go out and that'll get shipped out Monday. So these are going to be $7 each. They were 75 cents. They've got like the plastic wrap on them, which I think is nice because it helps kind of soften if you drop an egg in or whatever, if you have real eggs actually in these. Um, and you know, I was talking to, we have a friend that runs a feed store. It's about a half hour north, so I don't often make it up to his feed store, but he runs one. And he's like, I've already got like pre-orders for chickens. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep chickens in stock this year. And we they're not think, even here yet. We need to actually order an incubator because I thought we might need to just have chicks. So that way if people need chickens and can't get them, we could have some for them. Yeah. So these are cute. They're perfect if you just need to gather like Seven six, bucks. six to eight eggs. Seven ninety five, you know, good yeah. little backyard well, basket. Show them the next thing. We're gonna see how many eggs fit in here. This slightly larger basket. This one is fancier. It's got the wooden handle, and it's I think it's cuter. It's thirteen ninety five for this basket. Zeb's gonna show you how many of our chicken eggs will fit in this basket. All right. Next up, I've actually not seen a bread box like this. It's the size for a single loaf, and it was a dollar fifty. It's enamel. Super cute, $19.95. So if you like the little bread boxes, but you don't have a ton of space, I feel like this one's really good. So I feel comfortable saying you can fit a baker's dozen in there without really risking like tipping them out or knocking them over. That's 13 eggs. I feel like this one's a little risky. Maybe, but it's not falling. How out. many times have we had? Because our chickens live at the church shop. And so it's a good amount of drive home. And how many times have we had broken eggs in the back of my SUV? I usually, that's just because I didn't have a proper basket when I collected them. But we, we have a fixed. tall basket now. I thrifted them and I ain't selling them. You should show them our egg basket. Yeah, they're right around the corner. Where'd you put these at? Over there. Oh, right here. Okay, that one actually already sold. Is Zeb going to skip with the basket? Caitlin, can you find, do we have this one on there? I don't know. Wait, where are my egg baskets? egg baskets? Did I take both of them? I might have taken both of them. Oh, are they both? Is it not in there? No, maybe. I, do, I, I left the eggs in the barn tonight, so I got to remember to get okay. them. Okay, so this planter is $14.95, and we paid $1.50. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's cherubs on it. Holy moly, I keep leaving my... Sorry. What is that? Yes, I did list it. Okay. You got to oh, go she... find... <laughs> put that on there so I can see it. It is listed. It's $13.95 for this basket. Sorry. <laughs> ah, that's our, how Caitlin gets my attention. She put the listing on the bottom. That was the best thing ever. Our, yeah, $13.95 for this little basket. Our baskets are at the barn. Our basket. How one did you get the eggs home without the basket? One that has the eggs in it in the barn. Oh. <laughs> They're still in there. Just suffice it to say our new egg baskets because I'm tired of cleaning up eggs in the back of my SUV. Like a foot tall. They're like this tall and I'm not selling them. Okay. So I got these little chargers because we found, we find little glass cloches without the bottoms to them all the time. And I was looking for, if you watch Jamie's little short video, I was looking for something like this, um, something to put this on. Cause we found this just all by its lonesome and that was too big. And this was too big, but we often find things like, like these domes that we need to, uh, Put stuff on so i'm like you know what i'm buying all of them these were like a dollar dollar fifty um and they're they'll probably wait somewhere in the wings until we get no i think uh, that we're gonna paint them oh we're gonna paint them we're gonna paint them and uh, then they're gonna be 12.95 and then, then if we'll put domes on them if, if we there's find any them. that don't sell when we get those little like cheese 
dome size. We'll have a whole bunch of them already painted that we can marry up. So, okay. and if and, and if anybody wants to buy them without a dome and just wants us to paint them cute, put a little design on there, then they'll be good for that too. All right. Did we already show the clocks? Um, I think not we, yet. Says we need to sell eggs to. The problem is, I, we don't know what the guidelines are to sell eggs and. We can't just be selling stuff willy-nilly because we don't live a private life. Everybody knows our business. So we just give our eggs away. But right now we're only getting like six a day and we eat that it, many. It so got like five degrees and three degrees a couple days in a row. And so the birds are like, they slow down way, way down when that happens. Yeah. And so when they give us too many, we just. Like the day that it was three degrees, I got three eggs. I'm like, well, look at that. <laughs> oh, the small egg basket sold. Okay, right. so this is a. I, I found this thrifting. Jamie found this thrifting, and then she's like, "Can you find a top for this?" I'm like, "Well, maybe or a bottom." I'm like, "Well, maybe it'll fit on my candlestick, but it just kind of overlaps it just a little too much. It can <laughs> fall down on there." This was a dollar fifty. He gave it to. This wasn't priced. He gave it to us for a buck. Needs a new paint job. Someone's spray painted it a weird silver that's chipping badly. But I did find this little ceramic plate that also needs a paint job. And we're going to marry that up, put the plate on there, and then this is the perfect size to sit on there. We'll paint it uniformly, and it'll all be one cohesive piece. When we're, we what we pay three fifty, what's the math on that? I think so. By the time we glue it up, paint it up, make it all cute again, it's gonna be twenty two ninety five. Twenty two ninety five. Shebang. It's gonna be cute. But it'll be fun. It'll be great. I see this with like a candle in it or just like some really good floral. Yeah. And it even has a hook down here below. Yeah, if you, you can find to a little something. tiny hanging basket. Oh my gosh. That'd be so or cute. Or like a little hanging bird. Oh, thanks for the soup. Oh, Sally sent a super chat just so she could uh, let us know that it's going to be 75 degrees in Phoenix tomorrow. Sally. Sally, why you got to do that? We actually, <laughs> we actually just discussed last week because Jamie gets this every winter when it's like five five degrees she's like i hate it <laughs> she's like i love living in lehigh i love utah but there's like four months from probably end of november to beginning to end of march where it's just blistery cold or windy or rainy the sun and she's doesn't like, come out she's like when we retire can we just buy that ranch that you want to get down in uh, arizona and no i can... didn't say arizona you said arizona well i was like but it's only good in the winter i can't handle that who's gonna run summer. it in the summer we, we just going to go out there, there and hang out. That's my dream is to have like 30, 40 acres somewhere and like farm it. We can have a I ranch die. manager. Till I die. Because <laughs> right. it can't be tied to a ranch. I have grandchildren. So that's, that's the goal. Coming. They're that's... not here yet, but they're going to come eventually. All right. Let's do clocks. Okay. Clock, clock, clock. Okay. This was $8. It's going to get a bougie paint job and it's going to be $28.95 again. As is Hobby Lobby wanted $34.99. I think we could do better. And we will make sure it works. If it doesn't work, we have um, clock mechanisms we can swap out. And so help me if UPS, are you listening, UPS and USPS? The reason we swore clocks off is because a lot of them If you bang broken. these around, I will have words with you. My plan is we're going to bubble wrap them and then box them and then put them in another box. So I tried to buy all small clocks. So that way we could assure that they would be well protected and nothing would happen to them in transit. So we'll, we'll see. But anyways, oh, and this reminds me, if you do get something and something happens in transit, we have to have pictures of the box, the packaging and the damaged item um, because all of these shipping companies are treating our packages like garbage. Inevitably one or two gets damaged and they won't pay claims without pictures of everything. So whether you order from us or somebody else, you need to make sure you get pictures of the box with the shipping label on it and the packaging, mostly because the, pa the companies want to make sure that it wasn't just damaged because somebody just threw it in a box without packing material. So there's my PSA. So this one's $28.95. I think it's sold. This one was $5. Probably my favorite shape of the night. I love the rattan. This painted up is going to have a whole new life because there's tons of texture on it. You can't really see in its current color situation. It'll be $26.95 obsessed with the little finial here like that's money right there i'm guessing someone took this one to the thrift store because it just won't stay like it's supposed to do it was fine until the checker are you gonna fix it for me i'm gonna have to because it's wobbly and loose and i if you balance it it's just fine 
Um, but if anybody bumps it, it wants to lay like that. So I will fix that before it sends out to you. Do you think it's made of like pewter or something? It looks pewter-esque. It has, the, oh, it's made in India. So it's high chance, they high do a chance ton of that stuff it is pewter. Because that's why I bought it because it's like super duper heavy. So Zeb's going to um, fix, you know what? I was just looking at If you just put those... some like glue, I don't know, like it's like a screw situation. It's, it's like the like... screw came loose inside. That's why I took the back off, but it doesn't come through. So I'll figure it out. We'll get it tough for you. And then it'll be $22.95. Not painting this one because like I said, I'm pretty sure it's pewter. It's really cool. And it was $5. All right. Okay, next. I wrap tape styrofoam after bubble wrap for clocks. Yeah, we have all the things. <laughs> Um, so this was three bucks. It's gonna, it's pewter and fun little, just like serving relish tray, chip dish. Um, I, if you're a raw vegan, you can put your tomatoes, your carrots, your broccoli. <laughs> um, 1995 is what we're selling this for. And your hummus. Subsequently, this was also made in India. Mm -hmm. That is another clock that we were going to oh, try one to more show clock. One more clock. This one's a little like. I don't know, like country style. I like it. It, it says was colonial clock. Colonial. It was five dollars, and it's going to be how much? Uh, you didn't mark it. Free, free ninety nine. Half off of double. I don't know, like twenty twenty four ninety five. I don't, just guess. It's getting painted. It's getting painted. It's going to be the color is not the worst I've seen, but it's not the best that I've is seen either. Baby poop brown green. That's bad. It's like uh, mustardy. Yeah, we're going to enhance it. Um, at $24.95, I was right. The I back mean, is open on this. So when you get it, just know that it's got to go up against the wall. It's got this hook same for thing hanging on this it. One. It has to be against the wall. It's got this hook for hanging. So That's if you want to do that, you can, or you can just leave it as a shelf sitter up against the wall. Tarnished silver platter, paid two bucks. Mm -hmm. The brand is Sheridan Silversmiths, and I'm selling it for $12.95. Cute little platter. And then this, I haven't seen something like this before, but I love the tarnished silver like holder. And then it actually has the very ornate detailed relish tray. Um, it was $2 or like taco night. You know, if you just got to have like taco night for two and uh, actually taco night for just me, but $26.95. <laughs> Don't be, you know, I love taco night. Yeah, me too. Tomorrow's taco I always night. have two and then I'm over there getting two more. I'm like, listen, I could eat dessert or I could have a third taco. And so I have a third taco and then I have dessert. So show them those real quick. Okay. Well, just little, I, this is going to be a great little riser. This also, oh no, 1995, going to need painted. It's great for those chunky candles that come uh, like in the beeswax or even just a, this, this is big enough. I think it could be a riser too. Going to get painted. This one's slightly askew. I'm going to hit it with a hammer a couple times and hopefully we can un-askew it. Um, it was a dollar fifty. It's gonna get a paint job. Be twelve ninety five on that one. Um, I think that's. Oh no, we do have two more can three. So this is like a little beaded, almost like a Fenton style. I don't think you found it that in the Fenton stuff. Um, it? no, and it's not candlewick. I don't think either. So I didn't call it as such because I don't know. It's um, probably anchor. They were a dollar fifty each. Um, fun little uh, friend from where was she from? I want to say Missouri. Her dad lives out in Saratoga Springs or somewhere close to that. And they've been thrifting our Saratoga Springs oh, yeah, store. Yeah. And she's like, I found these. I found these. Do you guys want them? She was so excited to see us. And that was fun to talk to her with for a minute. And I'm like, we're like, well, you can take them home. She's like, I can't. I can't. My car's full. We've been thrifting all week. You got to take these. So we took them uh, and they're going to be $18.95 for the set of these. The word's out. Like the good thrifting is happening here. Well, that's what we do. We tell people where we find stuff. There's no secrets. We should probably keep some secrets. Well, you know, if everybody buys all the good stuff here, then I'm going to be forced to make more trips overseas, and that's going to be a bummer. Or yeah. forced to go back east or to Ohio or whatever. I, Wherever I, I go, the weather has to be good. I'm super the time down of year for in which I'm traveling because I don't do humidity, and uh, I am not doing a bunch of snow. You know I've been wanting to take a back east or a Midwest trip. All right. Valentine's Day is a Tuesday this year. Who needs chocolate when you have Taco Tuesday, right? <laughs> okay, so twenty nine ninety five for this set. Uh, it's like a Delft style. I don't it doesn't say made in Holland, so I'm not claiming that with them. But I paid, I think two dollars each for them. And even though this one's bigger, it was still two dollars. 
They're twenty nine ninety five for the set. They got a little age patina on them, but they're good. This is we we found a bunch of these in England that were similar to this. This is brass, um, and it's a pencil sharpener. But the globe is fairly accurate. Actually, that looks more like a llama than the United States. Um, <laughs> but it spins, and the pencil sharpener works. I did test it. Um, it was a dollar. We're going to sell it for 12. Oh, the chemistry set sold. All right. And then we have this. This is, oh, it's heavy. It's like cement heavy, <laughs> but I think it's resin. Um, oh, no, it's that fiberglass uh, like resin mix. Yeah, situation. this was $3. We're going to paint it up. It's going to be $29.95 candle holder. It's, it's almost as big as a column base. Like yeah. It's big. It's it's huge. It's chunky. You can hear it when I set it on the table. It's heavy. So these already sold. I paid a dollar each for them. And I think I, we sold them for like $10.95. I can't actually remember. Um, but they are just little berry uh, measuring cups. So we have a, one cup. And this one is hard to tell because it's blue. Half cup and a third cup. And I just couldn't leave them. They've got a couple of little flea butts, but otherwise they're in overall good condition and they're super cute. All right. Just see if there's any questions. Maybe everybody just chatting amongst themselves. We love a good Swedish fish and we've been finding a few of them lately. This one's did on a stand. Did you say Swedish fish? No. Maybe did I? S Swedish. We maybe need to up your thyroid. <laughs> the Swedish rocket. I was thinking about Swedish fish earlier. That's probably what happened. Oh, okay. It's super, super cute like this with the rope tail that's been frayed. But this guy's been drinking too much caffeine. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. They're bugging out. We need to fix it. Probably going to get rid of the googly eyes. Are we painting light They're tonight? Pink. We might get to we it. We are. He definitely did say Swedish fish. <laughs> Um, we are. We're gonna paint something. I don't know what. Maybe the Swedish fish. That's the Swedish horsefish. So last week, if you guys did not see it, I did a short, so you can see what it looked like. There was that Christmas rocking horse. I cut all the hair off. You could still kind of see a little, so I salt washed it and painted it white. And so many people messaged me and said I would love to buy that. So I, when we found this this week, I thought, you know what? Same thing. I'm gonna cut off all the hair. It's going to get salt washed with a dark color with probably white over the top. Distress. Googly eyes are getting gone. It's going to be getting an upgrade. All right. Next, the the, Swedish, let me put the Swedish, Swedish fish over fish here. Horse. All right. So I got this tray because it didn't, it, didn't, it was like a dollar. It did not have a bottom to it. Still does not. I'm going to cut out a piece of wood, drop it down in there. We'll probably paint it, stencil it. It's going to be twenty two ninety five when we're done doing that, and I think it'll be pretty cool. It's got it's cast iron, um, really ornate detail along through here, like a like a floral vine situation going on. And I think that one already sold. So somebody, I told him like, you buy it, you got to cut the wood for it. So Zeb got this big vase. It was three dollars, and it's solid wood. We're going to paint it up. I don't know what we're going to do to it, but it's going to be much better than the existing situation, and it will be twenty ninety five, not twenty ninety nine. Twenty two zero and ninety five cents. Right. We're almost through it, guys. Maybe we'll get to some painting in a minute here. All right, next lantern. I paid three dollar, and we're gonna sell it for twenty six ninety five. Lanterns always really good sellers for us. If they make it to the shop, because they don't sell it online, I'll usually put like floral in them. Okay, we were we scout probably ten minutes. We maybe even fifteen. We scoured the thrift store for the other half of this rooster bookend. Could not find it. I'm like Jamie, pick it up. Nine times out of ten, we find it like the next week because it's just still in the back. And some people just <laughs> use one bookend and they use something on the other side. So we're gonna yeah. paint it up. We paid two dollars. It'll be fourteen ninety five. Or it's on the end of the shelf and the wall is over here and you just bookend it up. You know. We paid 75 cents for these. Remember, we had a few that sold out last week or the week before. And they'll be $18.95 for the set of four of these false graph mugs. Really cottage core. Okay. Tote. Oh, sorry. Tote. It was $2. It's got great shape to it. Solid wood. Um, four dividers in there. We're going to sell it for $29.95. Next up, we have these Mikasa... Uh, Bob Van Allen Country Fair Sweet Talk Made in Japan Stoneware Mugs. Those were great. They were a dollar each, and we're selling for $28.95. They have a few, like, scuffs on them, so I'm going to try to magic eraser them off. I think it's just because they've been around for a while, so 
super cute. And I don't know if the camera is picking up, but these have a slightly blue gray hue to them and then just a light blue um, ridge on them. So just very cottagey and country and cute and a nice weight because they're stoneware. And I'm trying to get lots of cream colored mugs because I saw a display that had like creamers and cream colored mugs all over this Aww. French drying rack. I happen to have a French drying rack in the shop, so I'm going to be buying I didn't even know what this said when I found it, <laughs> but I'm probably going to paint over that. <laughs> no, we put that we were going to paint it. It already sold. It's going to get painted. Um, I want to do some new stencils on it. I think it'd be really cool. We could even do like ascending like cow, pig, chicken up on there. I think that would be fun too. We'll I don't see know if what happens that with small. It. Yeah, I know it might be too small. We'll see what happens with it. Going to get a new paint job. Going to get some fun design on there. But okay. not not leaving the uh, always kiss good night. Oh, we haven't showed that totally. Like, who needs a reminder to always kiss good night? Like, I don't need that. I know. Sometimes I'm like, listen, I'm trying to sleep over here. <laughs> All right. You walked off with the coat. So this has these lovely stars on it. It's going to get painted. I think the reason why nobody bought it is because this thing is loose, but that's just because it screws in and it's missing a nut. So we're going to find. Well, we're going to take it apart. We'll paint it all up. We will find an appropriately sized nut, put it in there, and then this will be the perfect organizer for like paintbrushes and it will no longer flop. All right. So there you go. So, hanging planter basket, it's already got the burlap in there for you. I think it could be used for a myriad of other things, including eggs, potatoes, everything's an onions. egg basket. Everything's an egg basket around here. Um, it was no price on it. How much did you pay $2. for this? Two dollars. It's going to be sixteen ninety five. No paint necessary. All right, found these in the yard, and Zeb passed them up. They are plywood, solid wood molding, so the reason and a I did, metal middle. And I'm like, you know what? It would cost more than what I'm going to sell them for just for those items because wood's gone up. Here's the thing. When I saw these, I was like, oh, they're great little magnet boards, but we'd have to probably paint those. And I was like, we're not painting any more stuff. We're going to try to find stuff that doesn't need painted. But that was before we went thrifting to three stores and did not find a lot of stuff that does not need painted. What does that say? Um, it's in blue ink on a blue tape. I think it's $26.95. $22.95. $22.95. dropped the link. They that were $3 is... each. We'll get them painted up. They do have hanging hardware on the back. And they were handmade by Danny Hoagland. Yeah. This is information's right and on the back. that's half-inch plywood. These things are sturdy. Yeah. Oh, show. All right. That's everything except for your giraffe. Have you guys been waiting to see the giraffe? Okay. The giraffe and I have some big plans. All right. It did come with some authentic battle damage right up in here. This horn, if you can see it is missing. I'm going to do a video on this Monday on how to fix it. So that'll be out Monday. It's going to be easy, but it's also got a few steps. So it's a little more involved than we can do in an hour live stream here. So we're going to edit it up, show you what we do with the giraffe. This was kind of a wild card purchase because, but I had to have it just because I was like, I'm going to challenge myself to fix that giraffe horn and make this thing look probably French country is what it'll do um, once we get done painting it. But we don't really sell a lot of like taxidermy animal head type stuff. Occasionally I'll find like a cutesy little animal and fix it up and paint it or decoupage it. But this is a large piece. We got it for 10 bucks. We're selling it once I get done fixing it for $169.95. So stay tuned if you want to see. If you don't even care about giraffes, watch so you can see how I repair it. Because the same way I'm going to repair this works on like small table legs and pottery and other things. So keep an eye out. Show you how I'm going to do that. Okay. We have had so many requests for... I did these frames and I did not film how I painted them. And so I'm going to show you guys my quick little, well, as quick as I can do it. I need the heat gun. We are going to paint this with paint blue. And then we need, I'm going to not paint the top because we're going to have to scrape this off. Or I'll heat scrape gun it off it. right now. We're going to get some painting in. We got 12 minutes. We went through all that stuff and we have time to paint guys. So this is paint blue with cottage color. And I don't have white linen in cottage color. So I'm just going to use white swan. Yeah, I'm going to scrape that off. Second, yeah. For just a moment. And I'm going to show you how I do we a... We actually blew through that. Like, we have more time than I thought. I thought we were going to have, like, two minutes to We have this. nine minutes. You got that. I'll go get the heat gun. <laughs> All right. You get the heat gun. 
Because I'm probably going to have to chew tongue this. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I got this. It's, it doesn't have to be a perfect paint finish because I'm going to come back and dry brush it. And then we'll heat gun it again. Then we'll clear wax it. Then we'll dark wax it in nine minutes. You think we can do it? I don't know. And if I miss anything on this video, I will touch it up later. But I don't know why, but it's like such a requested. I look at the, the uh, picture frames and I think like, of course, it's blue with a white dry brush and dark wax. People want to see it done, so I'm going to Did this it. sell already? Do you know? Um, it did. you want to show them that while I'm yeah, getting this Yeah, so this was, was the, last week's this was the last week's weird find of the week. On the live stream last week, we glued on some roses. Those are addition to an extra, but the bow was already here. The wreath was here. Um, I got kind of the base coat on there, and then we had to paint it again. And Jamie did another paint job on it and filled in some of the cracks because it had dried and, and, I painted and shrunk the ribbon. with the paper clay. Painted the ribbon all up. It's done front and back. But weigh in if you saw last week's thrift haul and what this looked like before on what you think now. Like, what do you like it? Do you love it? Did you like the original? If you like the original, then we might not be the show for you. <laughs> We're because literally going to paint so everything this drab week. drab and brown. You couldn't even see the detail on it. It was so weird. We're, okay. I think there's like 28 items from a 60-item thrift haul that we have to paint. <laughs> well, one, one less because I'm getting this mostly done. So what we like to do is we like to step things out. So I'll pick a paint color. I think next week it's going to be white because I didn't film myself doing it this week. And everybody said, did you film yourself painting everything white? <laughs> So if this looks white on camera, it's not. It's paint blue. Um, you can get it at jamierayvintage.com. It dries darker, and it's a blue with a green undertone. Now, when you are doing a heat gun like this, you must keep it moving because this has a built-in top coat, and so it will bubble. Can you get clear and dark wax, or do we ever get the clear wax? I never got clear wax. I never Shoot. remembered. But... Okay. I think we've got enough unless you really squeaked out the top edges of that I one. think I threw it out. Oh, did no, maybe. No, you did not. And I have I like a half a tub of clear here. It's been here the whole time. Is that a new clear wax? No, it's it's, <gasps> it's half used, oh, but there's a lot in there. That's awesome. I was like digging deep the other day. All right, I'm just going to sit here heat gunning it. Sorry if that's boring Here, scooch over you. more this way. I'll paint something too while you're doing that. No, you went the wrong way. If we go over, Caitlin, and you got to go, that's fine. I'll monitor comments. Although I'm not really good at monitoring when I'm painting, but it's fine. Yes, just, Sharon, the one rose quit falling off. We got it in. We whipped it into shape. I got paint pulled up here, so I'm just trying to. Yep, the rose was falling off. Carl Schaefer says, pass no matter what. <laughs> I'm assuming that's for the read. <laughs> that's fine. I'll accept that. So that one's already sold. What's already sold? The Kelly says stick? it's much better. Well, thank you, guys. Appreciate that. I mean, it's much better for what it is. It doesn't mean that everybody wants a floral wreath decor item. I think it would be great, like, if someone had, like, a new baby girl or something to give them as a gift. You could, like, do flowers or something with that. It'd be cool. All right. What's the size of the cheese box? Cheese box. Do we have the a cheese box? Bread box. The oh, bread the, box sold. The bread box is sold. Are you talking about this? Maybe. The recipe box? Or the recipe box, maybe. So I would say that this is like a solid 13 by four and a half, five inches by four and a half, five inches, somewhere in there. Guesstimate. So I'm just second coating this and then I'm going to heat gun it again and then I'll white dry brush it. And it won't take as long to dry when I white dry brush it because it will be mostly dry. Yeah, I don't remember I a cheese it. box. Is that from this thrift haul or another one? Are you looking in the thrift collection and seeing another one? Because there might be. BB says, that is my style. I love pink. All right. 
I like pink in small doses. Debbie but I also... Crump, great question. Um, Debbie Crump asked, uh, does the heat gun work better than a blow dryer? Yes. I like it better than the blow dryer because it gets up to like 500 degrees and will right now dry your stuff out. You got to be careful not to burn your stuff. Or yourself. But I also like it because it's quieter and it doesn't blow as hard. So if you've got other things drying, it doesn't like blow dust and sawdust and things into your other work. So a lot of times we'll have stuff here and we've just we've sanded a little something on the drop cloth over there and we're painting over here and then here comes that blow dryer and everything's a mess all right i'm just gonna no in the cheese box in the hall online i'll have to look jane i don't see i don't i don't have the, the hall in front of me so, so, if you, if so you Jane, if you really the need it, email email uh, info at jamierayvintage.com and we can get you the dimensions for that and measure that when we're not live. Might be Monday because we're off after this. <laughs> yeah. we, we stay up late Saturday night and then we're off. And I'm okay with a little bit of the dark peeking through because that's just a good layer. Janice says, in. or it gets on your carpet. <laughs> Yep. So the DIY paint brand makes the cottage color, but the cottage color is curated by Jamie Ray Vintage. So we pick out the colors. We're actually going to be going to California, working on colors with Debbie here pretty quick. Kai, if my mom wanted that wreath, she never told me, and I've talked to her a couple times since last thrift since the last thrift haul. So I can't say it since thrift. the last. Thrift and she would have had it in faster because it already sold. Yeah, <laughs> she never told me that she wanted it, and I didn't see it in comments if she commented. Kelly Cohen says, my hubby and I went to your store and bought lots of goodies today. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Got to see Han and Chewie, too. They're so cute. They're so messy right now, and the chickens have been pecking at Chewie's bum. He's missing some hair. Really? Yeah. He lays there and just lets them do it. I don't know what his deal is. I tried to get him up the other day and chew the chickens in there. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> but, yes, they are cute. Thank you. All right, I'm just heat gunning this. Zeb always does these drippy finishes where it doesn't have to be dry all the way. And of course, I pick one where it's really, you really want your. Michelle base coat says, to be dry. just logging in. Where's the future? What's the future for the giraffe? Monday. Watch the video Monday, Michelle. I'm going to repair it. I'm going to paint it, show you how that happens and how we're going to fix that horn. All right. You really want your base coat to be dry, dry because you don't want your colors to blend. You want them to look separate. Okay. Hopefully it's dry enough. Next, we're going to come with our next layer, which is going to be a dry brush of white swan. I would prefer white linen, but couldn't find it because if we had white linen, then you don't even have to do like any clear coat, but I'm going to have to clear coat this before dark wax. Cynthia, I would agree with you that he might have parasites, but it's been like five degrees. And usually if we have a problem with that, it's like in the middle of summer. So I don't think that that's the case. I think the chickens are just obnoxious. And Han and, and Chewie there, literally lay there all day. And their they're wool's like this thick right now because we only shear them once a year in the spring because um, we do have pretty harsh winters. Uh, and so I, I don't think Chewie's even noticed that it's happening because he's still got two inches of wool under there. But uh um yeah we we i'll uh i always i deworm the sheep so we'll we'll that'll happen soon once it warms up i'm just dry brushing so my brush is mostly dry but i've got this paint I'm just hitting all these high spots ashley well don't tell him you didn't notice ashley she said i just realized uh, the sheep are named after uh, Star Wars characters. <laughs> Actually, Cody and Rex, our dogs, are also Star Wars. They're uh, clones in the Clone Wars. <laughs> they're troopers, right? Yeah, they're they're uh, clone commanders. Our, when we just used to have Bantam chickens, they all had Star Wars names too. But now we have too many names. Okay, sorry, Zeb, I'm getting there. No, you're good. I'm. I've just been chatting away, reading comments over here. All right. Clock with the white face. Someone just asked. I, your your comments already scrolled, but here, here's the clock with the white face, and it is getting painted. It might have already sold if you're in the thrift hall looking for it. It's probably already sold. That, yeah, they, a lot of these the items bottom. sell before we even show them on the thrift hall. So if you're new and you're just watching and you saw something you want and you can't find it, the thrift hall goes live 
8.30 Mountain Time on Saturday nights because we go pretty much without fail every Saturday night unless we're like weirdly traveling for an emergency or something. Um, or a football game. So, and if you have our app, it'll send you a notification that those have been uploaded and updated. And so you can just hop right on 8.30, see what's there. Even if it says we're going to paint it, a lot of people buy it anyway before we even paint it because we're pretty we're pretty steady with doing the French country and farmhouse style. Um, occasionally, Zeb goes rogue. I'm just going to occasionally throw that in there. I do go rogue, and you have to be aware that that does happen from time to time. And you got to if you pre-buy, that's what you're stuck with. All right, this has like I'm not going to wax the lip because it's like holding it, but I'm going to show it to you guys up close. So. <laughs> Just snorted. Okay, so this is paint blue and white swan. Can you guys see the details? How the white, can you see that on camera, Zeb? Is it picking up the white? Um, yeah, focus it again. It's hard because the lighting's not great in here, but I'll get a better picture of it. So now we've got the two tones on there. We've got a little wet spot here. I'm gonna just clear wax the um, white real quick. Can you give me dark wax? All right, guys. Yes, this is where this is the point in the video where if you haven't already shared it, just a reminder, we've been picking people every week, a couple people, and uh, sending gifts to people who have shared the video, mostly on Facebook, because Facebook will actually show only us on Facebook because Facebook shares the, only shows the video. So unless YouTube changes the way they do it. Yeah. All right. So I'm just laying down a coat of clear wax because the white does not have a sealer in it, even though the paint blue does, and I don't want it to be dirty. And so if you lay down a coat of clear wax, it gives you a barrier. So that way you have more control and it doesn't get super dirty. You know what I just found? Now, I will also tell you, if I think it's too dark, I will come back next week and dry brush more white on. You're not supposed to dry brush over the top of wax, but on decor items, I do it all the time. Here's, Let me a, little, grab a, here's a little brush washcloth oh this is this one's like ruined i'm just gonna throw that away someone used that with a sealer what hang on someone used that brush with a sealer and it didn't get washed i just need a little jrv stencil brush i'm coming this if one's you want to buy little. the paint products so far we used paint blue white swan and clear wax and we're about to use a jrv stencil brush and is this black wax or dark it's dark okay so we're going to come in. Still over a thousand people watching. Thank gonna, you guys. We appreciate get all that this. so, so much. It helps us out so much when you guys watch, when you comment, when you share, when you go hit up the website. I can't say thanks enough. I'm going to pull back. Now, if I had not clear wax this and there was no sealer, it would make it a little bit more difficult to get this down. Good night, cracks. Carolyn. We'll see you next week. Have a good week. All right. I'm going to show it to you up close now, and I will get a good picture of it and share it in stories next week. But Ashley, not to distract from what Jamie's doing, but there is a character named Zeb. It's Gera Zeb Aurelios, and they shorten it to Zeb. Can you guys see that? <laughs> it's fun. He's a he's a fun character. And I, like I said, I probably come back on Monday and do a little bit more white dry brush just to highlight just the tippy tops. But this is a great three-tone finish. So we've got the paint blue, the white swan, the dark wax, and a lot more detail showing up on this candlestick. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. It's been awesome. Thanks for shopping the thrift haul. We'll get these painted. We'll probably, I would say it's pretty sure that Tuesday we're going to have to do a paint palooza. We have a lot of stuff that gets done. And if we sit down and do a live stream with you guys, it keeps us accountable. And if you're in channel membership, we will be live at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Um, if you're a JRV subscriber in the paid group on Facebook, again, you're going to get that video. So there's going to be some thrifted stuff. If you like these items, jamierayvintage.com, paint and products, same thing. If you have questions on your own thrift flips, be sure to ask them in comments or send us a DM on Facebook. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Good night. Love you guys. Thanks for joining us.